Oh boy, this is crazy. All right, I think the light's good. All right, well, holy mother of cholies, this week is crazy. I just, <laughs> I have a lot to talk about this video. Oh my God. Whew. Well, at first off, I'd like to say welcome to the 35th video vlog, if I'm correct. If that, that is pretty much what it is, the 35th video vlog. And oh my God, there is been so much crap going on lately i don't even know what's going on anymore but okay to start off let's talk about the new walking dead episode oh my god like this 90 minute special was freaking epic i'm not gonna lie that is exactly what i wanted like oh my god <laughs> robert kirkman always delivers he always delivers I'm, and he really delivered this time oh my god like you know the best part of the episode was when Negan... By the way, speaking of Negan, um, it, I just made a video called Negan is Savage. If you haven't watched it yet, it's the previous video. It's pretty amazing. I have to say so myself, I made it. Well, I mean, I didn't really make all of it, but you know what I mean? I made the video, the editing and all that. But it was pretty funny. It's almost got 100 views now, so I am really, I really thank you guys for watching that video. I, You know, I thought it was an amazing video, and... I, it's pretty funny, I gotta say. I'm really glad it's popular. One of my videos is popular, but... So, yeah. Um, yeah, Negan was also savage tonight, folks. He's not, his savagery doesn't end at that episode. Oh, my God. Like, as you can see, I got a new Negan poster now. I, can you say I see it? Yeah. It's on the wall there. I'm about to get closer. Hold on. Let me shine a light on it. Okay, there you go. See, there's a Negan poster now. Yep. I got Negan on my wall now, so you can tell I'm a big Negan fan. Always have, always will. But, um, yeah, Negan tonight was a savage, too. He literally stole the guy's beds, the, the, save, the survivor's beds, and burnt them. That is just, how savage can one guy be? Like, oh, my God, just one thing after another. Like, the popularity of the show has gone, like, skyrocketing because of Negan. Like, Negan's literally... Stolen the show, like it's crazy, but who we? I mean, oh my god, like, and they he said the line from the comics. Like, all right, when I read the comics the first time and I saw him saw said that line to Rick, I'm like, how are they gonna pull that off in the show? They can't say the f word and all that. Like, how are they gonna pull that line? That that was such an iconic line. There's no way they're gonna pull that off. That's it just can't happen. And what do they do? They pull it off. They fucking pulled it off. They. They literally said, he literally said to Rick after, right as he left, wow, you sucked my fucking dick and you said thank you for him. <laughs> yeah, he literally said that on, na on national, international television. Yeah, that's right, folks. There ain't no more profanity restrictions no more. Oh my God, like, <laughs> he fucking said it. Oh my God, that fucking blew my mind. I was like. Did he really just say that? Like, what the fuck? He just, he, he said it. And I just cannot believe it. He said the iconic line. It, oh my God, they got it right. Like, holy shit. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Like, holy shit, Robert Kirkman delivers. He really does. Like, well, you know, the thing is about it, though, is that the comics and TV show are vastly different. I've already... You know, everybody already knows that by now because, you know, Daryl is in the show and he's not in the comic. Um, uh, Carol was supposed to die a while back. And Angie, what was her name? Uh, Angela. She was supposed to. She wasn't supposed to die. She was supposed to get to date Rick and they were supposed to fall in love. But that didn't happen. She died early. So, I mean, this is vastly different than the comics, but it's still similar. It still has the same platform as the comics. So also Morgan is supposed to be dead, too, but he's not. He's still alive. So. I like to think of it as two different universes. That's my theory on it. I like to put the comic universe and the TV show universe as two separate universes. They're not the same. They're still the same Walking Dead. Just two different uh, what-if play-out scenarios. Two different universes. That's why Daryl's in this universe, and he's not in the comic universe, because it's a completely different universe. But Same with the video game universes. The, the what you call it, the Walking Dead No Man's Land. That's, a, that's another universe where somehow Negan's their friend, and Glenn didn't die, and a bunch of other shit, but what I'm saying is these are different universes. Like, what if, what if possibilities? Like, all of these, you know. I would like to see if the comics, if the Negan, if the TV show and the comics, like, somehow 
did a crossover, but I don't think that would happen, but that'd be pretty fucking cool, but, you know, just to prove my theory of the, 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 the different universe. That's the only explanation. Why is the TV show so much different from the, the comics is because it's two different universes. That's the only explanation. There ha That has to be the explanation. I mean, why, I mean, you know, why did this happen and why didn't that happen and why did this happen? It has to be two different universes. That's, that's my theory. TV show universe, comic universe. Two different universes. Because in the comics, Rick got his hand chopped off, it, like, by the governor. And in this show, that didn't happen. So, it's vastly different. It's vastly, vastly different. But, um... And also, Abraham didn't die of Negan's bat. He died way before that, like, sacrificing himself and stuff. And Carol committed suicide. It, it just, a lot of different things happened in the comics that weren't happening in the show. But, I'm just happy that, you know, it didn't, that some of the stuff didn't happen in the show. Because that would have been really fucked up. But, to be honest... <laughs> I like the show better than the comics in a lot of ways. I do like, you know, some comic character. I like Negan. Like, Negan was an amazing comic book character. That's why everybody was so excited to see him on the show. And to be honest, I don't know which one I like better, the TV show one or the comic one, because to me, I feel like they're equal. But the Rick TV show guy, obviously the Rick TV show, is the TV show works way better than the comic one. We already know that. But so is the TV show Carol. That blows the comic Carol away. So does the TV show Morgan. So is the TV show... Um, what was it? A lot of the TV show characters are way better than the comic characters, but other than Negan, Negan is pretty much the same. I can't... What I like about Jeffrey Dean Morgan's Negan is the fact that, you know, he's he just puts a more sadistic tone on the character. Not that I'm saying that the, that the comic Negan was sadistic, but he the comic book one was more of an asshole, you know, oh yeah, ha ha ha, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck you up kind of guy. But this one's more sadistic, more like Oh, well, I'll let you, you know, I like to make a deal. And more more like a Joker kind of Negan. I like that. I always wanted that for Negan. I always thought more Negan was a jokester in the sh in the comic more than a threat. But in the show, you know he's a threat. You know that he can fuck your life up. And you know that he is not one to play games. He, he jokes. He makes jokes. But he you know that this is one guy you don't want to fuck with. But I'm not saying the comic book one wasn't threatening. But this one, the Jeffrey D. Morgan version is... Way more threatening than the comic one, in my opinion. But now that's just me. But I just wonder how they're gonna play out the comics in the show. Like the one thing I'm excited about is the all-out war, which is probably gonna happen in season, the end of this season or beginning of next season or whatever. But is that the all-out war is when the militia is formed? The militia is the kingdom, the the Alexandria safe zone, and the hilltop all coming together to beat the saviors. That will be fucking epic. And that is going to be the best, this is going to, that's going to be the best war, that's going to be the best part of the show, is that all-out war. That was my favorite part of the comics. I'm not saying the Whisperer War ain't cool, but the all-out war was the one, that was like the climax of like, this, of this saga, of this, you know, of the arc. That was the climax, and it was freaking epic. There's so many twists and turns, and it was fucking epic, the bites and everything. I just cannot wait for that to happen in the show, because... That's going to be epic, just to see Rick and all of them teaming up to beat the saviors. That'll be fucking epic, but... Sorry, spoiler alert. I probably should have said that. That That's going to happen, but... All right. It might be different, though. It's going to be different than the show, obviously, probably, but... I just hope... The one thing I hope they don't do is kill Negan in the show, because that'd be fucking ridiculous if they kill... Really? Kill Negan? I mean, he's gotten so popular in the show, too. So, for him to die would be ridiculous. I mean, I get it. it the show's different than the comics, but... If Negan hasn't died in the comics, then why the fuck would you kill him in the show? I just, I just hope that doesn't happen. Like, some people theory, oh, when Rick cuts his neck, he's gonna die. Um, no, he's not. Okay, calm down. He's not going to die. Okay? That'd be ridiculous. Negan is a fucking badass. You really think he's gonna die? No. Alright? He hasn't died in the comics yet. He's not gonna die in the show. He's like the most popular comic book character. Like, one of the most pop popular comic book villains ever. He's not going to die in the show, okay? It's just not going to happen. That'd be like if Joker died in Batman. It's not going to happen. Gosh. Just letting you know. But, um... Another thing I want to talk about is the Dragon Ball Super episode. Now... Oh, my God. That was an epic episode, but... I love seeing Vegito again. And the way that Trunks beat uh, Zamazu Black was pretty epic. I'm not going to lie, but... The only problem I had was... There was two problems I had, actually. One was Vegito did not get enough screen time. Well, three problems, sorry. Vegito did not get enough screen time. That made me mad. Then the fact that Vegito has a, a limit now? An hour limit? Like, what? Okay, plot hole. 
So you're telling me it was permanent. Now you're telling me it's a time limit for non-Kais. Like, what the fuck? Is that as though everything that we know is bullshit now? I, just, I don't know. And then the third thing that made me mad was the fact that Trunks beat Zamazu Black. Okay, I get that was epic, but how was that possible? Like, okay, so Zamazu Black, the most powerful being besides Omni King, gets beat by Trunks using a spirit sword technique. Okay, where the fuck did he even pull that out of? Like, did he just fucking, oh yeah, I'm just gonna magically get a super spirit sword and cut him in half. Okay, what? Okay, whatever. I, I don't know. It did, that didn't make any sense to me. If, if Trunks could do that the whole time, how OP is Trunks? Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> how OP is that motherfucker? He just fucking cuts the Mozu Black like he didn't exist. Like, what the fuck? I just don't get that. Like, how is that possible? But I don't know. We'll find out in the next episode, I guess, if he's still alive or dead or, or whatever, if he really was defeated. But still, I just don't get how Trunks fucking beat him like he was easily a piece of shit. I just don't get that, but... Whatever, we'll find out, I guess, but... Another thing I want to talk about is... Pokemon Sun coming out this Friday. Now, I played the demo, and I gotta say... It's a badass game, like... I gotta fucking say, it, it is an amazing game, like... Oh my god, I, I'm so excited. The funny thing was, the demo, mate, was so easy, like, oh my god. I just fucking had a... You, it, in the demo, it gives you a level 36 Greninja, and you just wreck, wreck everybody, basically. Yeah! It's like, it's like so easy. I didn't even have to fucking do anything. It was like, it was just a demo. Like, the easiest demo in the history of easy demos. Like, oh my god, I didn't have to do anything. But it was still a cool demo. But the actual game itself will probably be way better. But I'm just saying, the demo was cool. And the game comes out this Friday. I already pre-ordered it. I'm going to go pick it up this Friday at 10 in the morning. The thing is, since I have this job now. Oh, I forgot to mention I got a job now. I work at a customer service place. So since I got a job now, I won't only be able to play it for like a few hours and I'll have to go over to work, but oh well. At least I'm getting paid! Yay! Anyway, so um, I'm excited for that because Pokemon is my life. I love Pokemon. I think everybody knows that by now. My two favorite things on Earth are Pokemon Walking Dead. I'm not saying God because God's not from the Earth. That's my number one favorite thing ever. But besides God, those are my two favorite things. Um... But God's not a thing anyway, he's a bee. Alright, whatever. You know what I mean. But, yep. So I'm excited to see how Walking Dead's gonna play out. It's crazy. Like, Maggie... I hope Maggie becomes the leader. That's one thing I hope, because that's what happens in the comics. Maggie eventually becomes a leader after, um... After the All Out War series. During the All Out War series. But, um... <laughs> it's gonna be epic. Um... It's just the whole... I just cannot wait to see what's gonna happen. That, that episode alone was fucking awesome. Like, every episode since episode one has been awesome. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is literally the best season so far. I, I'm, I'm truly impressed. Like, the fucking build-up to season seven. It's like, it, it, Chris Hardwick even said the Talking do do Dead... By the way, they reached the 100th episode tonight, but... Chris Hardwick from Talking Dead even said that Negan was, like, the turning point in the show and the comic. Like, before Negan, after Negan. Like... It's completely shifted the show, and it shifted in a crazy great way. I'm I'm really happy. Jeffrey Dean Morgan is an amazing actor. He really, really pulled that character off, and I am really happy he is playing Negan because holy shit, he's doing an amazing job. But I, he keeps saying though, I'm gonna shave this shit. I'm gonna shave this the beard, but he hasn't done it yet. When is he gonna shave it? At the end of the season? I don't know, but we'll find out. But. I'm interested. I, I don't know if he's going to shave it off or not. He I kind of like the butt, the bearded mustache look, to be honest. I know, like, oh, the comic needs to have a beard and a mustache. When is he, he going to shave it? Well, okay, I get it, comic fans, but the show is different than the comics. You got to realize that, okay? It's not the same. Anyway, so he's probably going to cut it off soon, though. Like, I don't know when, but hopefully he will, because that would be cool. But, um... Ah, uh, yeah, then he would look like the Comic Negan if he, if he shaved it off. But I know that everybody wants to see Comic Negan, Comic Negan. It's not the Comic Negan, it's the TV show Negan. Different universe, calm the fuck down. All right, in the comics, it was just Glenn that died. In this show, Abraham and Glenn died. But, of course, Abraham died before that, but you know what I mean. Okay, it's different. It's different. God, so calm the hell down. But anyway, so... I'm excited for Walking Dead. I'm excited for Dragon Ball Super, even though I don't know what's going to happen next. And I'm excited for Pokemon Sun and excited for my new job, which I'm starting tomorrow. So 
I have a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff. Like, this whole week's been crazy. Like, before before I watched Walking Dead and Dragon Ball Super, I was... I went to go see Hacksaw Ridge. By the way, it was an amazing movie. And, um... It was a really amazing movie. I, I really enjoyed it. It was Andrew Garfield and Mel Gibson did an amazing job on it. It was just fucking amazing, but excuse my language. But it was a great movie. And then before that, the night before, I watched Into the Woods with my friend Juniper O'Hara. Shout out to her, Juniper O'Hara. Go follow her on Facebook and YouTube, all that. Um, Juniper O'Hara is an amazing person, and I really enjoyed the play. And Joel, everybody, I got to see everybody again. It was a great play. I loved Into the Woods. It was the best musical I've ever seen. Well, besides movie ones, but you know, best play I've ever seen so far. Besides, besides all my sons, but we, we're not gonna mention that. Anyway, so anyway, so after then, yeah, the whole week's been crazy. Just one thing after another. I just, just crazy, 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 crazy. Oh, we got, we got a cat today too. Did I mention that we got a cat today? Serious Black. He's a black cat. Yeah, that you heard me right. Serious Black from Harry Potter. We got a cat. We got a cat. Although, I don't know if my mom's going to approve of that name. She's like, Serious Black from Harry Potter. Ah, why would they name it such a demonic name? Why would they do that? That's crazy. Well, right. Well, sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, okay? I'm really, really sorry. All right, if you got a problem with our, my cat's name, then please. No, then, then please, just, just, I don't know. Go, go, go pray to the Lord or something. I don't forget, no. Why would you even be watching these videos? You know I curse on them. Why would you be watching them, Mom? Anyway, so... The last thing we're going to talk about is Donald Donald Trump winning the election on Tuesday. People doubted him. People underestimated him. And look what happened, people. He won. That's what you fucking get, huh? That's what you fucking get when you underestimate Donald Trump. He is OP, motherfucker. He is OG. He is the boss of everybody now. He is the boss. And that is just it. So, fuck you, everybody that said he wasn't going to win. You were fucking wrong. <laughs> anyway, but it's all seriousness. Um, I am really happy Donald Trump won. I know I'm going to get a dollar. Oh, Tate, you support Donald Trump. I already said that in another video. Why are you getting angry at me? Okay, he, he won. He's the president. So shut the fuck up, all right? <laughs> People need to calm down about fucking Donald Trump. Like, seriously. All right, I get it. A lot of liberal people are like, fuck Donald Trump, fuck Donald Trump. He's a horrible guy. All right, that is not the case. All right, do your fucking research. And uh, actually, uh, uh, stop being retarded, okay? Stop, stop, you know, no, you know, no. Okay, he won. He's a Christian. Get over it. God. He's a true Christian, all right? And I don't care what nobody says about him, because... Donald Trump is the fucking shit, and that's just it. He's gonna represent our country like a badass. Russia's gonna like us again, so is Israel. We are gonna have an amazing four years. I don't care what anybody says, okay? Because Donald Trump is my president, in my book. All right, he always will be. He's gonna be the best president we've had since Ronald Reagan, and that is a fucking fact. I am tired of people downing him. All right, he is gonna be a boss. That is just it. He's always a boss. He is Donald Trump. But anyway, so that's my rant for the day. I, I'm just, this whole week's been crazy. I'll tell y'all, I'll be back next week to tell you more adventures of my life. Once I get Pokemon Sun and all that. And, uh, once I start my job. Ugh. Tomorrow's gonna be crazy. I work from 3 to fucking midnight. 3 p.m. to midnight. That's just crazy. Why do I gotta work nine hours? That's fucking ridiculous. Like, I would've been okay if it was, like, 8 to, like, let me think, 1, 2... Eight to four? Is that right? Four. No, eight to five. I would have been okay with an eight to five shift. You know, I would have been okay with that. But a fucking three to twelve? Like, that gives me, like, no free time. Like, what the fuck? I, I mean, I guess I get more free time during the day. But at night, I, I get, like, none. Like, I go come back home at midnight. Like, what the fuck? I mean, it's a good thing it's only for two weeks. It's only full tra It's just full-time training for two weeks. But... It's boot camp, but still, it just drives me mad. Like, seriously? Fucking nine hours? Three to midnight? Like, that's like, that's like whole, the half the day gone right there. Like, almost half the day. I mean, I'm not complaining. I get a lot of money, but shit. Fuck, like, fucking, I get $90 a day, so I can't complain, but still, like, I don't even get paid till fucking next Friday. Like, you expect me to wait that long? Like, fucking, fucking two weeks? 
That's ridiculous. How am I supposed to wait that long? But we'll find out tomorrow, I guess. Tomorrow's gonna be exciting. I do not know what's in store tomorrow. I will let you guys know next Sunday when I make the next video. Um, and yeah. Really appreciate y'all watching this vlog. Uh, keep watching my videos. Keep subscribing. Oh, one more thing. Um, the good news is I will be making cooler videos like the Negan is Savage thing pretty soon. I'm going to start working on my Omega videos again. I know I said this before. Oh, Tate, you say you're going to make cool videos, but you never make cool videos. Why are you telling us this again? Well, shut the fuck up, all right? I, I'm actually going to start working on my channel now, all right? I got a, I got a good friend, Nicholas Naley. Detective Naley. Shout out to him, by the way. I'll put the link in uh, the video description. N Detective Naley. Naley Detective is an amazing YouTuber. You all should subscribe to him. He has 2,000 subscribers. He's going to help me get up there in the ranks. And I am excited because I'm going to start making video game videos. You're going to see a lot of stuff popping up on the channel now. I know you're like, well, Tate, you don't do video game cha videos. Um, I do. I just did it on another channel. And I'm going to start doing it on this channel now. Because I feel like, what's the point of making another channel? Like... Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, they make all types of videos, not just video game videos. So I can do that too. I can make video game videos and other stuff on my main channel. So that's what I'm going to do. But thank you all for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, whatever, do whatever you want. I don't care. Just just make sure you just watch my videos, okay? Thank you. And I hope we reach 200 subscribers soon because I'm excited about that. All right. Thank you. Love you guys. And goodbye. Bye-bye.